There is plenty of money in my industry and it is going out of it in the form of profits and it's leaving this country and going to tax havens. We need an adjustment in this economy and in this society. We need to have a country that's run for the people in it, not run for the financial institutions and the big corporations. It's a bit of a cheek having a programme asking a trade unions being greedy for asking, a pay, asking for a pay rise. The FTSE 350 top companies in this country, their profits have gone up 73% since 2019. When are we going to ask are they being greedy? Impacts people will find it hard on a strike day, but people will find it hard when it's not a strike day because there's people in this country spending 18% of their income travelling on trains. We've got the highest fares in Europe because profiteers have been robbing this country blind for years. At the same time, later on in this year, energy prices are going to be so high, some of my people will be spending two full months of take-home pay on energy. And you're telling us that we're greedy for expecting workers to keep up with that. Workers' uh, pay rises cannot keep up with inflation if you're not to have a wage price spiral. Well, you know that. It's that's got rubbish. to be below inflation. That's absolute rubbish. What's caused inflation is the shock of the supply chains from the global health emergency and rampant profits. Pay at the top Nobody's is going through the roof. That. What I'm no saying to you is about you, pay cannot, at the top, Anne. you cannot match inflation Why not? with pay. I've just explained, because then you get into the what wage price profits? spiral. Then you get into the wage price spiral. people at the spiral. top are all right. Their profits can carry on going through the roof. For 30 years in this country, wages have not kept up with inflation. At the same time, profits have rarely not exceeded inflation. You tell me There has been a transfer of wealth from working class people to people at the top. And that can't carry on. That has got to change. Because the people at the top of the economy, they're having a disco. And everyone else is being told that they've got to carry the can and tighten their belts. It's not on. They are going to be made poorer. We're not going to have it. The general public in this country know that they're being mugged. And they've had enough of that. Our public services are being hit alive by private comp companies. Profits are through the roof. Corporate pay at the top is absolutely obscene. And the only people in the economy that are being asked to tighten their belts are working class people. The pay rise you've been offered. Got a pay rise. It's the a real pay rise pay you've been offered is more than what nurses are getting. It's more than nurses, 3%. Nurses deserve far more than what they're getting. For family members, uh, bonuses worth hundreds of pounds. No, is no, that not good no, enough? no. We, they, they have to cut 400 million out of their operational expenditure, thanks to Grant Shapps. So they're slashing one third of the entire maintenance frontline workforce. They're cutting maintenance schedules in half. This is the infrastructure you'll be travelling on. That's what they're doing to slash money out. And they want us to accept that. And if we do that, as a reward, they're going to offer us a real terms pay cut. That is not acceptable.